to apply the next features uh, i'll just uh, delete these features first so that we'll get some space over here and then we will continue further with the other features so yes i have deleted and i'll delete these four sketches as well done okay next feature we have is lower click on it it is asking for the profile now click on it first try this with a closed loop sketch say like this exit the sketcher you can see preview the opening line must be specified what we need to do is we need to define the opening line as well so i'll be click on this this will be the opening line now preview see see the result the fin kind of structure i am getting uh, height this is the height you can maintain and uh, you have the angle facility angle 1 angle 2 as per the image is showing you can define angle 1 you can define angle 2 basically different different shapes uh, you can have these uh, particular type you will be able to see in the in the fins those those things uh, will be visible to you so you can you can create it this is the fin next feature we have is the bridge click on it now we don't have any dialog box available so what i'll be doing i'll be clicking on the surface wherever i will click it will start creating the bridge see the preview for the bridge height length width angle radius 1 radius 2 you can define and you will be getting the direct result say height is okay but about length i'll just increase it to 10 mm and preview that's your bridge a uh, handle or hook kind of a structure we will be getting on the sheets so we can directly create these kind of things we can directly create these kind of structures using this stamping cutting non cutting operations in ketia v5 sheet metal design workbench like this that's how it will look like next feature we have is the flanged hole click on it click on the surface and preview just like we had this feature available the the flanged cut out over here we have flanged hole for specific shape the thing is if you want to go for any closed loop profile then you will be going for flanged cut out but if you want to go for circular shape then you will be going for flanged hole other things are completely same as it was there in that with cone without cone if you don't want to go for cone then you can go for without cone if you want to define the cone then you can go for with cone you will be able to get the desired result as per your own requirements these are the features lower bridge flanged hole basically the pick and place features are there nothing more than that circular stamp i'll click on it click over here this is your circular stamp in this case we will be getting the material on the downward side this is your cut out this is your stamp the punching operation so some of the operations we have are cutting operation some of the operations we have are non cutting operations define the parameters height angle diameter radius 1 radius 2 even you can go for the half half years that function is already there this is your circular stamp next dovel click on it over here this is your just the diameter i have to define say 5 diameter this is your dowel basically a punch that's that's how it, it will look like this is your dowel these are the features we have in stamping toolbar 
some of the two features we have seen are cutting operations some of the features were non cutting operations where we are not removing the material we are just deforming the sheet i'll also show you this particular one this is your stiffening rib we had seen the stiffeners now in the sheet metal the name is stiffening rib and uh, way of applying is completely different for that only i had created this wall on edge i'll click on it is stiffening rib i'll be selecting the face from the outer side which will define the location and you can see just the parameters length this is the length chordal length basically radius 1 radius 2 and angle see that's how the stiffening rib will be applied and definitely when you are going to apply the stiffening rib on the sheet metal the the strength of that sheet metal will increase that is your stiffening rib i'll be selecting this stiffening rib i can go for mirror so at two places this will be applied but there would be a problem with that the problem is when i had applied the mirror feature what it has done it has applied it on the complete body by default when it is applied on the complete body all other features will be covered so i'll need to apply the stiffening rib separately then and then only i'll be able to get the result in the proper manner so these are your features step stamping feature or basically i would call it as the cutting non cutting operations surface stamp bead curve stamp flange cut out lower bridge flanged hole circular stamp stiffening rib and dowel these are your cutting non cutting operations in sheet metal workbench of ktia v5 only one feature is remaining named as the user stamp for that we will need to create some part we will need to create the die then and then only we will be able to see that i hope these features are clear to you